top 15 Instagram models with the best abs. So Fitness Vault put this together and we're going to go through it to see uh, if you feel these women have the best abs out there in the Instagram space. Obviously, there's some great uh, spectacular fitness models in this list. Uh, I happen to know a few. So first we have Andrea Rizer. Uh She is obviously a fitness model based off, I think, in Brazil. Um, and has competed and has, you know, abs and so forth. We got Anita Herbert. We're going to go through all these women and see which one do you think has the best abs, which one has the best abs, and figure that out. She's an IFBB Pro Bikini uh, competitor. Uh, Anna Cozer, I go through her. And Ayla Sagra, I'm probably butchering her name, but obviously an amazing figure. Uh, we have Kira Fitness, otherwise known as Kira Hamilton. Uh, dancer as well as personal trainer and so forth Aspen Ray for some reason her profile didn't come up but we'll go through that anyway Valentina Liquets I do not know how to pronounce her last name uh, again a uh, great figure uh, Paige Hathaway she's got a great personality she's a really cool person she's also a phenomenal fitness uh, model has been around for quite some time same with Michelle Lewin uh, we'll go through her Karina L uh, Jessica Arivolo, and I'm if I'm making a mistake on their last names, please forgive me. Uh, Jessica Gretzky, Gretzky, uh, Brooke Ince, Katrina David's daughter, and Ann Thor's daughter. Okay, so we go through, we're going to look at all their apps starting from 15 down to number one. So we look at Andrea Brazier here, and so we're gonna scroll past. Obviously, she's just had a baby, so we gotta give her a little uh, credit. So abs on point there, and look at when we look at abdominal muscles, we're gonna think about how lean they are, because obviously body fat plays in a role. The lower body fat you have will show the muscularity of your abdominals much better, and obviously the muscular development of your abdominals. A lot is gonna be dependent on genetics. You're gonna have different uh, body types, people who have the ectomorph, the mesomorph, and the, the endomorph. Obviously, endomorph typically will not have better abs. Also, how you store body fat will determine uh, determine how well your abs look. A lot of women have much better abdominals than men just because they store body fat more in their hips and thighs area versus their abdominal region. So if we check out her uh, abdominals here and this, it's hard to see. She's a really strong girl. She ends up picking up her husband in the photos. But like I said, let's get past her pregnancy photos. But if you get looking here, just her muscular development here, uh, she is a pretty tiny girl. I think she's right around five feet tall, five one, but a good mus good muscular development. Uh, obviously very lean. You have to be lean to see that. You can see the difference between uh, her. This is at age 18 versus 42. So very impressive there. Uh, again, you can see the abdominal development there uh, and how lean she is come through here this is a, comp a competition pick the difference of her walking around everyday normal uh, life versus her competing how much leaner she is so obviously the leaner the lower body fat she has the more abdominal development uh, do you see do you rate her as number 15 on this list or do you rate her better let's go into Anita Herbert uh, we can go through her abs so you can see how well she her abdominal development is. Uh, she's a little more tinier, obviously in the lower body region. Uh, you can see her lean, uh, very petite figure, uh, and nice abdominal development. Let's find a really good photo that showcases this, not a video, but you can see in here the abdominal development. Obviously that was more of a photo let's go through here so even when she was considered out of shape right you can see she's still in you know has a really good genetics nice figure but obviously when she's in shape uh, she's more conditioned as in a lower body fat you can see much more muscular development and so forth those are just other before and after photos uh, she is a really great figure um, and we'll go through that photo here 
So you can see this, this one actually cracks me up. It's a bunch of videos of him working out in the forest in a telly ride in a bikini. Let's face it, these girls go to the gym, they work hard. Uh, this is good photo op though. But again, great figure, great abdominal development. She's real lean. Uh, she's rated number 14. Where would you put her on the list, right? Here's a good photo of just showcasing her abdominals uh, and her, her figure as well. So again, we would just wanna look at the abdominals. So again, uh, Anna here, Kozar, check out her figure. So she's obviously a little more thicker through the lower body. Uh, and you look at her abdominal development here. Uh, you can see it, this in this great picture here. You can see her abdominal develop, how lean she is. Obviously, she doesn't store much body fat through her abdominal area versus as opposed to more in her lower body. But again, good muscular development, uh, good figure. She's rated number 13 on the list. Where would you rate her? Are we going to uh, Anela Sagrera? I think I'm pronouncing that right. She's obviously a lot leaner uh, and more of what's considered an ectomorph. So somebody would be considered more skinny, right? So obviously they have much lower body fat to begin with. Uh, and that's why you'll see a more, you know, smaller, tinier figure, easier to develop abs. The question is, do you rate her better because she has a much better midsection based off of you know maybe more genetics not saying she doesn't work hard and she puts effort into the gym but based off of her genetics she's going to be much leaner uh is there as much muscular development for your preference versus somebody else obviously she has a great figure uh great abs but where would you rate her on the scale again if we're just talking about abdominal development not how pretty she is not how sexy she looks any other those other things uh, let's go into Kira. You can go in here. Uh, you can check out her abdominals here, see her figure and so forth, see where she would rank. She's ranked uh, 11th on this scale uh, on her abdominal development. So doesn't see, seem as, as lean as some of the other girls and ha has as much abdominal development. But at the same time, this is uh, all fairly biased. It just depends on what your preference is, what you find sexy, um, or what they're really going by. Is it by muscular development? Is it by how lean they are? Uh, and so forth. So you can see obviously uh, her ranking and so forth. So again, Aspen Ray, you can come down here, scroll down to see more of her abdom abdominals. So we pull that up. So again, she's lean, she has a small petite figure. But once we dive in her abdominal development, how well can you see her abdominals? Obviously, uh, tight midsection abdominals look good here. They're on point. Uh, obviously, with more of a tan, you could see more. So here you can see her abdominal development and so forth. Uh, and obviously, when she's competing, the, the leaner they are, they're going to see much more and appear to be much more have much more muscular definition or muscular development and that's just because of lower body fat. Obviously the more the abdominals protrude would just be muscular development. Uh, but you know great midsection in here and so forth. So at that point uh, she was rated. So this is Valentina. She is rated ninth, right? Just to confirm on that scale. Um, let's go back. Yes, she's rated ninth. So we can check out her again, uh, much more ectomorph, uh, taller, leaner figure, great figure, uh, abdominal development here. So you can see she's much leaner in these photos and you can see more abdominal development. Same thing with this. She happens to take most of her abdominal photos and the nude, uh, which is always a plus for us men watching. And when we dive into her figure here, like great figure, obviously puts in a lot of work, uh, but how much do genetics play a role in this? How many people can do this, uh, eat her way and still have a figure like her? At the same time, uh, impressive abdominals and, and works hard and you can see her in the gym, so forth. 
uh, diving into that. So do you rank her ninth? Uh, Paige Hathaway, uh, again, she just had a baby, uh, really great uh, person, but if you look at more of her competitor picks, she's a very athletic build, a little more muscular muscularity, uh, and that, again, that comes along with genetics and hitting the gym, lifting heavier weights, and so forth. But if we scroll down, we can see her um, abdominal development in some of her earlier photos before, obviously, the baby. We just keep going down here, a ways. And here we go, let's go. Uh, so you can see her figure here more, abdominal development, muscular legs, more so, more athletic figure, so more muscular here. Obviously the leaner she is, for example, on this phone or photo, very low body fat here. You can see a lot more muscular development, really good abs, obliques, uh, and so forth. So she ranks, uh, where does she rank on the scale? She ranks number eighth. Is that where you would rank her? Uh, Miss Michelle Lewin, she's hilarious, great personality, very petite. I think she's like 4'11", maybe five feet tall. On a, on a good day, she works hard, she's real strong, she's fit. Uh, again, very lean uh, figure, has a nice curvature, so good glutes, uh, good figure, good proportions from a standpoint, uh, but how, do, how does she rank from an abdominal development on, on your ranking? Like where would you put her abs versus somebody else on this scale? Do you, do you rank, rank her? Uh, as high as it uh, this site at number seven obviously she's extremely well known she has I think what is it 13.7 million followers uh, so obviously that's helpful from a fitness standpoint uh, she's very well known now we want to get in Karina here uh, her figure again more ectomorph morph much smaller much petite uh, just more skinny uh, in here so she's going to store a lot less body fat so how do you rank her abdominal development based off of that and so forth again we're not talking about figure we're just talking about abdominal development where would you put her in that situation where would you you rank her in this scale and so forth and then we want to go to next Jessica uh, and then here are her abdominal development so and you can see when she's really lean you're gonna see a lot more of her definition in her abdominals when she's not as lean you're not gonna see obviously the abdominal development and you can see clearly in these before and after photos where sh she's much leaner in these photos versus obviously this uh, you can see even here her weight at 108 a few days out from IFBB bikini pro show versus two 126 uh, basically right now in today's um, you know not a few weeks ago so you can just see what they walk around at in a normally everyday life versus when they're competing and so forth and you can rank them based off of that uh, I would attribute where people should rank based off of how they can maintain a healthy lifestyle in their abdominals year-round um, but you know it's all up to you and and where would you put these girls in order and would you have other females that you know uh, rank higher for their abdominal development so let's look at Jessica so obviously we go into Jessica uh, very lean very petite uh, small girl so abdominal development here uh, let's see some right here you can check out her abdominals you can see a little bit more muscular development uh, obviously she's real lean uh, she's very tiny and come in here so you can see from the, the angle here you can see how these muscles protrude a little bit more so there's a little more muscular development with those abdominal muscles uh, you know great abdominals she is ranked on the list uh, where are we uh, we're at number four. She's ranked at number four. So let's go to number three. We got Brooke Ince. Um, you can check out her abdominal. So obviously, I think she's more of a CrossFit competitor. So very more, a lot more muscular development in her abdominals. 
Uh, obviously, she's lifting heavier weights. You can see uh, her abdominals here and so forth. Uh, and let's see where we come down. So much more of an athlete. You can see her, you know, to be a CrossFit athlete that actually wins and competes at a high level. You're going to be a much bigger, stronger girls, more muscular development from lifting those heavier weights. So let's see if we can find a really good photo of her abdominals. She's more or less covered up in most of these photos. But here's a good one here. You can see her doing abs. You can see here from a side angle, uh, or uh, that's a video. Let's see if we can come across. Here we go, here's a black and white photo. You see a little more abdominal development there. So again, where would you rate her uh, based off of all these other girls and so forth? Uh, like I said, they're all amazing. They all have great figures. So here she is, obviously. You can see the abdominal development. You can see the athletic uh, figure. You can see more of her abdominal development here when she's doing a power clean and so forth. So um, something to check out based off your ranking. She's number three. So we got uh, Katrina uh, in here. So again, another CrossFit athlete. She's a little more of an ectomorph but still a, a phenomenal athlete from uh, competing. You can see her abdominal development here, but as I said, like a lot more from an ectomorph standpoint, you can see her abdominal development. Let's see in another photo, where is it? And obviously some photos and lighting help improve things. So, you know, just an everyday normal snapshot doesn't capture how great some of these abs can look with good lighting, uh, good tan, and all that. So you can see the muscular development here uh, and so forth. You can see it here as well and, and all that. And then at number one, we have Anne, again, another CrossFit competitor based off their ranking. So she just had a baby too. So we're gonna scroll down a lot further and here's some of the older photos so you can see her abdominal development here so again uh, a lot more muscular development here much thicker throughout her entire body which would create that so just uh, more muscular development maybe not as you know from an ectomorph standpoint much more muscular much more of an athletic uh, figure. So again, she's ranked number one based off this scale. Where would you rank uh, your top one through 15 and who would be your top 15 Instagram models with the best abs? Please write, uh, list the comments below in your comments below. Put your uh, top 15 in order. Let us know if you have any other uh, women with phenomenal abs that you think should be in this list or maybe who shouldn't be in this list for that matter. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. You can understand from a genetic standpoint how to achieve phenomenal abs, what it takes, it's hard work, it's discipline, uh, and great nutrition. Hopefully it was helpful and educational. Let us know what you believe are your top 15 rankings, as well as please like and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you.